if y'all don't start commenting and sharing and subscribing, it's going to be me and y'all. Yeah. Stop playing with me. Comment. Hello, my fault. Go to the video. Hello. Put in some of that royalty. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Neek G, the host, and today I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying? And with the goddamn hair, y'all league. So, uh, yesterday, y'all put this video out, my video out, talking about Armand Music being removed. Um, I didn't know that it wasn't no sound after a minute and some seconds, so I'm not putting that specific video back up. Obviously, it's this one when y'all get to it, but my bad. On single I caught you was removed from all platforms Armand stated on Twitter something happened with the producers agreements for I caught you which resulted in it getting taken off all platforms we're working to handle the legalities of the situation and it'll be back up I apologize to my supporters and we gonna keep going devil can't stop nothing now let's y'all already know the music we have everything to do with the producers so speak on this situation with cj and royalty now i'm pretty sure you guys are all up to date with all of the drama that has been occurring cj dropping a video basically stating he's gonna get nike to protect him from royalty now nike actually has some things to say about this in her video now here was her response to cj stating that she was going to be protecting him hey YouTube going up. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> and I have nothing to do with that. Y'all know I've been minding my own business. Staying out the way. Because I already said what I said about a situation. But. What did she say what she said about a situation? <laughs> Y'all know. I'll be as a side. I'm going to always have my baby daddy back. Y'all know how I'm coming about my kids. Y'all yeah. <laughs> know how I'm coming about my family. Y'all yeah. <laughs> know how I'm coming about me. Period. Now CJ already confirmed that Kamari would be moving to Vegas, but Nike also confirmed that she and her BM will be moving to Vegas as well. Oh damn, her BM get to go too. Yeah, I think, and this is alleged because I don't know, but I think Nike is definitely smashing the baby mama. Definitely smashing the baby mama. Something going on. But um, I think Nike deserves everything she lost when um when CJ met Royalty ass. Now, one thing I can say, Royalty was giving that man hell to see his own child. So I think she deserves everything she didn't wasn't able to get that Royalty got. Anyway, I'm debating on if I should speak on the situation or not. But yes, it is true. Since my baby daddy went on here to tell y'all, we are moving. We are moving to Vegas. <laughs> we have a house already. Period. It is. It's up. It's lit. That's like and when that I say we, I do me, me, my son, my baby mama, and her daughter will be mm. moving to Vegas. So now the past couple of videos daughter. that That's CJ's been posting, he's definitely been trolling royalty a lot. He's even posted a photo of her on his Instagram and stated, Should I post a music video this weekend? Damn. Royalty out here looking like that? Should I post a music video this weekend? Now, he also stated in that video that he posted that Royalty's car had gotten repossessed. Well, Royalty actually responded to that comment by posting her car on Instagram, showing everyone that she still has her car. So what CJ stated in his video about her car being repossessed was not true. 
He be wanting certain shit to happen, but he got to stop the cap. Maybe it got taken for a little second. She got it back. No, Royalty's male friend Rico also had some things to get off his chest about CJ stating that Nike would be protecting him. He posted on his Instagram, how you hire a B word for security like we ain't got them thangalangs. Now, I don't know what that means, oh, but God. that is what he stated. Now, Tata also had some things to say about this situation. Trying to one up me with a prostitute is crazy. Y'all know what? Wait, prostitute. Y'all know what I meant. I was distracted. She states, trying to one up me with the prostitute is crazy. Now, if you watch my previous video, then you know that Rico's other girlfriend or his baby mama or whatever kind of exposed Lexi for being out on the street before she met CJ. But let's move oh, on to this next damn. topic with Corey because he ended up on a local Corey look fresh as hell right now news station after some people went to the news and told them that Corey had scammed them. Oh, give me one sec. I'm going to explain something to y'all. I'm going to tell y'all. Y'all not, not going to believe this shit. But give me a second. Let me get over real quick. We in traffic right now, y'all. All right, y'all. Everybody, check this out. So I just left the news station, Fox News, and uh, I was interviewed today, guys, about the jailbreak giveaway. So the jailbreak giveaway. So guys, everybody, if y'all y'all know I've been dealing with this shit since January, right? So today was a good day, man. Guys, I'm telling you. Hey, listen. Core, what happened? Remember that. God will not let nobody help come to screw nothing. God is great. Bobby, son, the nigga who I bought the jailbreak from. Y'all, these are, I'm just, I can say it now, these are some of the most stupidest men I ever seen in my life. Like, dead ass serious. Y'all, these folks went to the news to try to get the news to say that. But they went to the news, they went to the police station, whatever. They tried to say that I scammed them out the car, everything was fake or whatever, ooh, 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 right? And on top of these claims, right, they entered so many, they put so many lies. They Whore, it's fuck. Every day with these reactions, the, the, uh, the patience, it just gets shorter and shorter. <laughs> Whore, like. Before I get to it, head ass, and just ain't really got to it still. They, they told so many lies. It was Even the news lady was shocked because I was dropping all the proof. I told the lady that, look, look, look y'all, first we, of all. We waiting on the court. I can't say too much because it's on video. Everything y'all gonna see it is on the news. The shit gonna be on the news. But it just so, I'm just so glad this shit is over with now because I finally was able to share my story and let everybody see how real my shit is and show how these folks were literally just trying to out there and jeopardize my name or whatever you know what i'm saying hey uh, yeah he said corn bro y'all don't understand bro that nigga that nigga sean said he was supposed to get three hundred and fifty thousand dollars that's what he told the news people now the crazy part about all this shit everything is documented i got proof on everything right hey check this out right somebody said corn we really don't care Man, I know y'all don't care, man. I mean, I, I love y'all so much, and I know y'all don't give a fuck, but I got to warn, I got, I got to inform y'all what's going on because this shit is unbelievable, bro. But you, you not necessarily saying, let me get closer. You ain't necessarily saying what's going on. So we still don't know what's going on, and in the process of trying to figure it out, it's almost not worth it anymore. <laughs> but we still don't know what happened. And if you couldn't say nothing, you had to wait. You should have waited. These folks, real deal, tried to goddamn play games and go. All right, do y'all know what happened? I'm talking to people in the comments on my stream. Do y'all know what happened? Please. Everyone, anybody, somebody, does anyone know what happened? No. None of y'all, not a soul. No, uh, no. Okay, so we all don't know. Ain't that some shit? Uh, okay. To the police station, to the news, all this shit. And the only thing they did was help me out. This shit's so funny. This shit the backfired on them. How you gonna try to fuck over somebody and it turn around and backfire your ass? The, the uh, the nigga, the nigga Bobby said he spent six hundred dollars, y'all. 
That nigga Bobby said he spent six hundred dollars. That nigga ain't spent no more for his six hundred. go to the, go, they go to, look, at, go to, look, we finna show y'all how much this nigga spent. It's so much lies in this shit. I can't wait to just show y'all, man. Hold on, hold on. We, we pulling up this shit right now. Hold on, here's what I said. So they spent $600 on a rap and trying to come at you. No, oh, they ain't even spent, he ain't even spent 600 He spent $150. If I'm not mistaken, he spent $150, if I'm not mistaken. That's what they said in a lie. I got Basically, we, McConnell sell right cars now, with a see. raffle. But, man, y'all don't understand. I can't wait till y'all see the shit on the news, Y'all see the news, because y'all know the news will break it down. They just did my side. They got all the proof and everything. So the news will going to break it down very well and show y'all uh, all the details. Like, they're going to show y'all the screenshot, the message. They did their part. I love it so much because, guess what? They recorded. They dollar bill, what up, nigga? They recorded them first. Y'all see how Corey need the news? Y'all need us real bad, real bad. Yeah, people only don't like us. And I, I know I'm not a, well, at this point I am a T-channel because I got a T-channel. But people don't like us when they people wrong. But when they need us, they need us real bad. The news is us, nigga. We is the news of YouTube, okay? They, they interviewed them first. And then the lady hit me out of the blue. Order for you to go, no you have to pay six hundred for a raffle a, ticket a for a message. chance to win. I got a ticket. And raffle tickets have always been the same. You buy the raffle ticket. If you don't win, you don't win. I would never pay six hundred dollars for a raffle ticket. This message. I uh, barely want to pay five dollars for a raffle Gabby ticket. Hi, it's Gabby from Fox Twenty Six News. I don't go I past twenty dollars. News on with me. And then she told me, and then they, they let me come in, did my part. And she even shocked. She like, I'm so glad you came in today. She was like, Wow, it's very interesting. So, you know. Hell yeah, yeah, I'm dumb, dumb. I hope they figure it out, because. I... <laughs> uh, hold on. That's why Zoe said the other day, how you buying 40, K 40 to 70K cars and just giving them away. He said Corey was scamming. But Corey's not scamming. I I'm sorry. I got to be on Corey's side on this one. Here's the thing. A raffle is a non-refundable ticket. You are paying for that ticket in hopes to win the car. So you buy the ticket and you don't get the damn car, but somebody win it. Now, it's only a scam if nobody wins a car. It's only a scam if nobody wins the car. If someone wins the car, that means they got picked. Y'all dumbass the one buying them tickets. I would never pay $600 in hopes to get picked. But some people stupid and like to give their money away. So that's legit as fuck. Corey ain't scamming at all. And it's smart as hell. Because if he pay 40, 40K, let me do this. If he pay 40K for a car, and let's say for instance, he get, a hundred people to pay six hundred dollars. Matter of fact, I don't know how many people he be doing, so I'm gonna say two hundred and fifty people times six hundred, cause he gotta make something off of this. If he get two hundred people to spend six two hundred and fifty people to spend six hundred dollars, he makes a hundred and fifty thousand. Y'all remember when I was doing the, um, the wheel, some people felt some type of way because of the money that I was making. Are you fucking stupid? You don't have, I don't, I don't put things out there for y'all to, uh, like put a gun in your head and tell you, you got to do it. That's not how this works. Some people actually like to gamble. That's just how to, <laughs> just what some people like to do. <laughs> so some people, they did it. Some people got $250. They spent $20, got $250. Some people spent $10, got $250. Some people spent $60, got $250. The point is, everybody don't win. But somebody go win. But you plan is a chance for you to win. He ain't scamming nobody. Girl, I'm done with this video. Bye.